Hi, I'm Pat Ahern. You're on the way of baseball. I wanted to share with you a little story about one of the players that I was coaching in the Little League team. He was about nine or ten years old, and when I went to practice to work with the team's pitchers, the coaches came over to me and said, hey, we want you to work with this kid. He's a little bit of a project. He's kind of a head case. He's got a really good arm, but his control is really suspect. He doesn't know where it's going when he throws it. So I said, okay, let's have a look. He came over and he started throwing, and I just sat and watched for about four or five or six pitches. And he would throw one pitch that was right there. Pow, good strike, quality strike. The next pitch he'd miss by four feet. Miss way over here on another one, then go pow and put one right there. Now one of the, we, we tried a few different things and it all just seemed to be the same thing. I'd tell him, hey, try this, try this, and it was still one good one and then one over here, one over there, one over there. But one thing I noticed was that as he was getting ready to throw, every time you could see in his face this is heavy concentration, like he had the weight of the world on him, like he had a thousand voices trying to tell him how to pitch all at the same time. It was really tense and just, and his body was tightening up and everything, and then he'd try and throw. And so I stopped him and I just said, hey, I've seen you while we're standing out here, throw a really quality strike, pow, with something on it right over the plate. I've seen you do it. And you know what that tells me? That tells me that it's in there. It's in your body. Your body knows how to throw a strike. So guess what? If it's in there, that means that you own it. You own that pitch, and whenever you want, you can take it out and play with it. You can take out the pitch that's really good whenever you want, and play with it. Now, when I said that to him, his face kind of relaxed and he thought about it for a second and kind of nodded and then his whole body changed and it just, you could see it. And then when he stepped back up on the mound, he started throwing again. First pitch, whack, strike, another one, pow, right there. Another one, through six pitches in a row after we talked about that, all of them good quality strikes. His face was relaxed, his body was relaxed, and he just realized that, hey, if I've done this before, I can do it again. I own it. It's mine. And so now, after that, I looked at him and I said, have you ever thrown six pitches in a row for strikes in your whole life? And he had a big old smile on his face. He said, no, that's the first time. And he just got all excited, and now all of a sudden, he realized that, hey, this game is fun, it's enjoyable, it's something you could do. And it's, it's not meant to be difficult. It's like they always say. The umpire comes out and says, play ball. He never comes out and says, work ball, try ball. It's always play, so why not have some fun, play with it. And so what I told him just relieved that tension, got rid of whatever was really making him tense up, and then he was free to just play with what he owned, his best pitch, whack, strike, whack, strike, another one. So, I just wanted to relay that story to you so that you can start to think if you've done it, if you've made a good pitch or made a good swing, it's in there. And you can repeat that whenever you want, whether it's in practice, whether it's in a pickup game with your friends, whether it's at Yankee Stadium with 50,000 people watching and it's the World Series. It's all the same thing. You're just making a good pitch, you're taking a good swing, you own it. You can take it out and play with it whenever you want. Now I'm Pat Ahern, and you're on the way of baseball.